Hello, I'm Pam Carruthers of HealingStars.com. This is the chart for the full moon, 19th of April at 12.12 British summer time. It's set for London. So the rising sign in London is, or the UK, is Leo. And Leo is the sign to do with the sun. We have this full moon right at the end of the sign of Aries and the moon opposite right at the end of the sign of Libra. Usually a full moon in Aries and Libra is all about relationships and then all about you know balancing relationships and the moon in Libra is very sweet and passive and governed by Venus and Aries is governed by Mars and of course Venus and Mars are lovers so to speak. However this particular full moon the sun is right at the end of Aries. It moves into Taurus on Saturday, the 20th. And notice this is Uranus right next door. Now, this is a very unpredictable planet, Uranus. Astrologers, we always say you can't predict with Uranus. It's all about change and dramat often very dramatic change. In terms of the weather, Uranus is to do with things such as lightning. You know, that shock that we get. And it certainly has been a week of shock. We have over here Saturn and the South Node and Pluto in the sign of Capricorn. And Capricorn governs buildings, especially old buildings. And of course, the fire at Notre Dame on Monday night was horrendous and a big tragedy to witness, especially when the spire caught fire and just burnt to the ground. It was very, very powerful to, to, to see how many people stood in silence watching it. So my heart goes out to Paris. And the Notre Dame, of course, is Our Lady. It's a Venus energy. And I've been reading a lot on the internet about it in terms of if it's Isis or Joan of Arc or Mary, but a lot of the goddess energy is embodied in that beautiful building. And th thankfully the altar remained intact. Now Venus in this chart rules the moon and here it is right at the end of Pisces. But Venus will change sign on Saturday and then it will go into Aries, that's 1710, that is BST. Also on Saturday, as I said, the sun is moving sign into Taurus and Mercury joins Chiron in Aries. That's quite a lot going on in one day. And often this happens in astrology, it's quite extraordinary. Now, Jupiter, the Sun has actually just finished making a very good aspect to Jupiter, although Jupiter's retrograde, and that fire energy is expansion. It's positive, definitely positive. The Mars is interesting. Mars is in Gemini at the moment, and it's at a right angle to Neptune. It's moving towards that right angle, that difficulty, and it will move to go opposite Jupiter, which is also a very difficult connection. But Mercury at the moment is in Aries over here, and Mars is in Gemini. They are in each other's signs. So there's a, a kind of combined energy there, even though that is not a tight aspect by any stretch of the imagination. But Mercury, as it moves through Aries, will very soon be at the same degree as Mars. Now, Mercury, communication, Mars, action, courage, initiative. This could also be speaking I know, faster than you're thinking. And so I'd be cautious about what people say, how you receive compliments or criticism or anything. It might touch a nerve, possibly. And to keep calm, I <laughs> see, or the expression for this. We have also this very powerful conjunction over here. Now, this is going to carry on. The south node is right next to Saturn. 
Saturn goes retrograde at the end of the month, and the south node also travels backwards through the zodiac. This is very karmic, really karmic, <laughs> especially because Pluto is close by and Pluto is also going to go retrograde. Now this could bring up a lot of deep feelings for you, your family. The burning of the Notre Dame was also very powerful in terms of, of its symbolism, this ancient building and the grief when buildings, fires, anything is destroyed and we, it's out of our control <laughs> and that's Capricorn likes to be in control. Now I do offer sessions specifically looking at the nodes of the moon in somebody's chart so this is, if you have this in your chart that's being activated, then please get in touch. The Uranus connection in Taurus, that's a long journey. <laughs> it's going to take seven years to go through the sign of Taurus. So when a planet such as Uranus changes sign, and it, seven years ago it changed sign, it was moved from Pisces to Aries, and we had that tsunami, if you remember, Uranus is saying change and it's about our planet, Earth. And this week in London, protesters are deliberately wanting to be arrested. And they are protesting about our planet and about saving our planet and how vitally important it is. And this is something that you can't ignore <laughs> and that's the reason they want to be arrested because they are bringing it to the public's attention however much that might inconvenience people and of course that's true but I want to highlight that in saying you know it's in time for us all to be involved whether or not it's about plastic uh, recycling you know, not buying carrier bags made of plastic you know Whatever we do, each person, we are responsible for our planet, our Earth, our Mother Earth. Now, when Venus moves into Aries, she then becomes the warrioress, Wonder Woman. If you've seen the film Wonder Woman, if you haven't, please watch it. It's powerful, and it's very much a statement about the goddess energy fighting for love. It's a, a really clever film. And I loved it, and I think a lot of people really, really enjoyed it on that level. It has mythology in it, it has the First World War in it. It's a really clever film and very inspirational. So the energy of Venus in the first sign of the Zodiac is very much, you know, the Me Too movement from that regard. I could go on for hours, but however, I want to give you a taste of this and how it really is about change. Change that might not be something that you have predicted. It change that you don't have any control over. And the idea is to go with that flow of energy rather than resist it. Resistance is not a good idea in this case. And acceptance of change is evolution. Thank you for watching. Pam Carruthers of healingstars.com